Let's go surfing now, everybody's learning how Come on a safari with me first day trip on Tommy's safari. I'm pretty hype. It's gonna be cool. Tommy will get here in about 20 minutes. Tommy's here. He's taking a fat shit. It's starting to get light out. Isn't that cool? Hi, Tommy. Oh, hey, Sullivan. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. It's pretty early. Maybe yeah, it's 4. it is. 56. What are we doing today, Tom? We are going to uh, to Walnut Canyon to start, and then we're going down to the Slide Rock a little bit later. Yeah, we're doing a day trip. Let's go. He's pounded down, loaded up and trucking. Are we gonna do what they say can't be done? Oh, we've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Time he's found just like no bandit run. Keep your foot hard on the pedal. Some devil mind them brakes. Let it all hang out cause we gotta run to make. The boys are thirsty in Atlanta and there's beer in Texarkana. And we'll bring it back no matter what it takes. He's found it down. Loaded up and trucking Are we gonna do what they say can't be done? We've got a long way to go And a short time to get there I'm eastbound just watch your bandit run Uh, right now we're at the Over Easy in Flagstaff. We're in Flagstaff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so we're taking a little breakfast break. It's currently 6, like 55 right now. So uh, we got here a little early. We've been here in roughly like what, an hour and... 45 minutes. Yeah. Uh, hour 45. Which is a really good time. Uh, so yeah, Walnut Canyon opens at 9. Oh, really? So that's why, yes. Yeah, so we so got two hours. We got plenty of time just to oh, do stuff. Shit. That's dope. We can drive around yeah. and explore. All right, we just got done with breakfast, and we're just kind of waiting until the park opens, Walnut yeah. Canyon. What's this, Tom? Oh, huh, interesting. So back in the old days, we, they, they used to use animals for, like, travel. So, so you see how there's, like, there's this whole metal back here. Right. And it goes around his neck, and he has a muzzle in the front. Yeah. Which leads me to believe this might be, like, maybe, like, a baby, like, elephant, maybe, or some type of animal that they would use for work. Uh, and then I think the bone might be here to represent how their bones have been just scattered across this beautiful land in order to build this community. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? Wow. Tommy, what is this? So it says, please do not climb on the, It's a sculpture piece, I think, of how the shackles of society and the pillars of society have collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Van Gogh. Of course. What do you know about Van Gogh? This is an awful rendition of his signature portrait. 
However, you can clearly tell that it is Van Gogh. We have our little pyramid and Illuminati triangle symbolizing how we need to open up our minds and get more knowledge. Are you really gonna pee? You need to take a shit. Really? We need, to do it in the woods. need to take a shit? We need to do it in the woods. Call me back, guys. I'll turn the fertilizer, don't worry. You're not actually serious, are you? Oh my god. Oh, this is a perfect spot. Yeah? Yeah. Tommy suiting up for our epic adventure. Epic. Epic. It's a little sunny out. Oh God, this again? Jesus Christ, Tom. The bit's not even funny. You think I care? Seriously, Tom, it's about What's up, Tom? Wow, I mean, this looks like some, as you can see, this is the first one we've seen. It's almost some purple poppy. There's, we can, oh, wow. Yeah, see the, 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 the oh, it's almost like a perfume here. <laughs> uh, it's, it's almost a lavendery kind of smell. Um, these can be used actually uh, for types of teas. Uh, they, they take the little flower here and they crush it up and then they put it in their teas. It's actually really good for you. And the taste and the smell make you, just give you really good, refreshing energy. We need. What are you doing, Tom? Trip. I'm smelling it. I'm getting more energy. <laughs> as you can see, as I use my binoculars, uh, some of the stones here is what we talked about in episode two at Papago, where we have uh, those. Those little boulders there that, oh, have, that's right. that have stuck themselves into the concrete foundation of these cliffs. And they, they look like they shouldn't be there, especially that one right in the middle right there. I mean, it's astounding that it's still there. Uh, I just Everything's coming together here. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, I'm recording, so we're ready. All right. So, with us, we have one of the workers here at Walnut Canyon, Miss Ginny. Uh, so, what do you know about Walnut Canyon? Uh, so, Walnut Canyon is a really great resource right outside of Flagstaff. We have trails that allow you to get down, typically, into the cliff dwellings. Um, and then we also have a great trail that's an overlook of Walnut Canyon. Awesome. So, do you have uh, any interesting facts for us about the land? Yeah, so uh, this area is the northernmost region in Arizona for the Kuatamundi, which is this guy. Wow. He sort of looks like a raccoon and like a badger. What do you think he looks like? Yeah, he looks he looks like a badger. He looks kind of he looks like he just doesn't care. He just yeah. goes off. He's just he doesn't care. He's just happy to be here. <laughs> Typically, like they like to eat the juniper berries, and yeah. sometimes they'll sit up in that tree, and you'll just hear this like crunch, 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 awesome. and they just eat the berries. Damn. So. Yeah. There you go. Uh, so, you heard it here first, folks. Uh, here at Walnut Canyon with Miss Jenny, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. You uh, guys have a nice day at Support Your National Parks. We'll see you guys.
in probably a couple minutes. <laughs> yeah. She was really nice too. Yeah, she was epic. She, she knew a lot about the land, almost as much as I do. But... Yeah. We found this little thing here. Wow. What is it? This very well could have started off as like a well for indigenous peoples who lived here. Uh, and I th this very well might be a way of preserving it uh, with what they've built here, this little s top. Uh, if I look here, yeah, the, uh, definitely the corrosion on the bottom of some of these rocks makes me to believe that it is this was indeed a well, now not a very big one, but almost just a pool of water, maybe a like a, uh, a last resort water hole. Truly fascinating stuff. Tommy, wow. this is incredible. Wow, I need to get, wow, I need, I need a closer look. These symbols are across the world as in, when indigenous people <laughs> lived here, which I think that definitely concludes that I was correct about this, they would leave markings or traces as to where they were going so they wouldn't get lost uh, as you can see here this is clearly this is the diamond shape so it wouldn't be a surprise if this is if the uh, if this tribe was their signet was a diamond Holy um, well, Sylvan, yeah, we just uh, finished up lunch. Uh, we are on our way to Slide Rock for part two of the video. All right, second destination. We'll probably be there in roughly 40 minutes. So. Okay. So we have some bad news. Slide Rock is only accepting the parking lot full. They normally have people are who like the parking lot gets full and then they have other parking spots outside of that. Like walk-in guests and they're not allowing that at the moment. It's pretty much first come, first serve there, and we don't get to go to Slide Rock. So we are going to this place called Bear Creek. Beaver Creek. Beaver Creek. <laughs> <laughs> it has a good little cliff diving area, so we're gonna go do that. Uh, it looks like we'll be there in roughly 40 minutes, so we'll see you guys there. Alright Tom, we're at our spot. We are at our spot. Here we, go. we gotta hike a little bit, but we're Be here. Beaver Creek. So we've made it to the, uh, the this beautiful area. It's actually really nice. Uh, I haven't checked the water yet, but I'm assuming it's, it's pretty nice. I've, so yeah, yeah. Man. There's a fly on your nipple. Yeah, it's on my fucking tit. <laughs> Tommy's gonna try to get across without dying. Good luck. He's so dead. Actually, Tommy will do it because he's fucking Tommy. Been oh shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is this the spot, man. Yeah, Good thumbnail. That's good. 